Last time on Wonder Song. Whoa. D did you just kill the overseer? Who are you? The name is Audrey Redheart. And I'm the hero. Sheesh, quit being such a baby. This is just the way it works. You really thought you could sing some song and solve everything? How about you leave it to the real heroes? Oh my gosh, look how mad he looks. How about you leave the shutting up to you? What is he? Oh no, wait, don't! Oh my gosh, why do you try to fight with violence? You know music is your thing. Are you okay? No. I'm not the hero, Miriam. I'm not cool or strong or anything. And I thought I could save the world, but I can't. So, I'm just gonna lie here forever. And everyone will forget about me. And then the world's gonna end. What? Was that the end to this arc? This chapter? Act four. Oh. Um. I don't want to be you. Oh my gosh, now I'm a- Look at this, look at my moves! I'm a hero. Not some silly bard that just sings all their problems away. I slash things up. And coming up... Are you talking about Miriam? Does she wait out here all this time? What do you want? Hmm. Well, I have this letter. For a girl standing here at this time. So is it for me? I guess so. What is this? This is mm, gross. Good morning, everybody. Forever Nina here, and welcome back to Wonder Song. So I don't know. This is just. This whole- oh my gosh, there's a whole house now. Hey, who are you? <laughs> Do hoo hoo hello muffin. Hi, mom. Oh, this is mom. You're finally out of your room. And you look terrible. Thanks, mom. <laughs> are you going out with that look on your face? I don't know. Well, don't. You look so much cuter with a smile. Aww. He forced a little smile for his mom. That's more like it. Your friend Miriam wants to speak to you. She says she'll be outside of town. Why don't you go find her? Oh. Okay, so... Only when he faces this way he's gonna have a smile on- No, I guess only when he's around his mom. He'll force a smile on his face. I guess this is like his old house. I'm glad to have you home after so long. But you've really been sticking around. <laughs> Get some fresh air. Your friend Miriam says she'll be outside of town. Okay, mom. Wow, so he's like back in his hometown. Good morning! How are you doing today, friend? Hmm... Haha! -ha. Why, I'm glad you asked! I'm Happy Kid, the newest toy sensation. The latest and greatest from Mr. Baron. Produced at the Factory of Smiles, the Happy Factory. Get a Happy Kid and you can have a friend just like me. You don't know Happy until you know Happy Kid. Buy your happiness today at participating restaurants. <laughs> at participating stores. Haha! <laughs> -ha. Have a happy, happy day, friend! Hmm. What kind of. Oh, 7 15 now. What kind. What is his hometown? Like, what is this? Haha! -ha. Happy, happy friend! That's how I'm feeling. Get your own happy friend. 
happy kid and you can feel it too. What a lovely day. I love walking around chest mist. Spreading my happy happy to everyone. Christmas is where happy kid started after all. Happy kid is Mr. Brand's gift to the world. Are you like a real person? Ha ha! Happy happy! Happy kid! Okay. Is that one big act? What the heck? Oh snap! Talking to him! Oh, the time went is going by right now. So we're in some... Oh, I can pass time by just sitting down. Beth Steiner. Hey guys! Welcome to Beth's Diner. Open side. 24 hours a day. You want some grub? Can I eat? Ha food usually makes people happy. Go ahead and empty seat and eat. Hey, old Beth. Knife to see you. What? See, it's a joke because I got it. How is that a joke? Oh, he has a little. Okay. Oh, he actually ate. Thank you. A lot of fun characters come through here. Oh, yeah. That astronomer from out of town always here in the middle of the night. Like midnight till 5 a.m. Always orders the same thing. Why? Who knows? Who cares? You want some grub? I just ate. Mm -hmm. It's so weird looking at him. I pet the doggy. Hearts. It's so weird to see him in such bad shape. Like, he usually is always smiling, and the whole color changed too. And also, some comments pointed out last time how literally, <laughs> like, all those achievements were coming because I was the hero of the game. Like, the real hero. Anyways, Miriam, what's up? Well, look, see who it is. Finally done with all your moping? No. Oh. What brings you out here? Think you might be ready to meet the next overseer? There's an overseer here? Uh, yeah. You're standing right at the nexus point. Oh. So we just need the overseer song? I already figured that out. I got a lot done while you were busy being useless. Oh. It's the lullaby your mom used to sing to you. I already know that song. Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So I just have to sing it? That's what I'm saying. Ready when you are. Is the time thing have to do with anything? Like, can I go explore? Or should I just stay here? He looks so sad. Did that even work? He looks so sad. It didn't work. Ugh. I was afraid of this happening. The nexus point is blocked. It's all these disgusting clouds in the sky. Guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like that right now. This smog is definitely coming from the factory. We have to find a way to shut it down. Oh, come on. Stop looking at me like that. 
Seeing you like this is making me mad. I, for one, am not going to sit around while the hero prances around killing overseers. So get back in there and help me figure it out. How to shut down the factory. Okay. Where's the factory at? Sorry guys, I had to... Xbox like turned off for a second. So everything kind of restarted, I guess. I guess that's why I'm at 8.45 now. But anyways, I'm still supposed to go and figure out how to shut down that factory. Why are like, there's actually people walking around here. Can I talk to you? Nope. Who are you? Well, hi there. You look young and able. Hee <laughs> hee. Are you Mr. Baron? Want to work a shift in the factory today? Um, I guess if I can get in. Oh, goody. Come right this way. Like, if this is his hometown, I wonder if, like, this is why he grew up so happy. Like, but then again, the hometown doesn't look so happy after all. Here at this factory, we make happy kids. It's the happiest kid of all and everyone's favorite toy. You could say we're like a big happy family. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. I am not in the most happiest mood right now. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm excited. You'll have a great time working here. I just know it. L leading me into some darkened area. Oh my gosh, he looks so creepy. Just a bit further now. Ugh. And you just hire anyone from the street? Okay. Here we are! Isn't it wonderful? Modern machinery works in perfect harmony. It fills me with such joy! Well, let me show you what your job is. First, take a piece of coal from this pile. Second, throw it into the furnace. And repeat. Can you remember that? Can you explain it again? Got it. I mean... Okay! Make us proud! He is so greedy. He keeps breaking his neck. Okay. Um, I'm trying to put it in. It's not working. Oh, I just sing it into it. I mean, I'm supposed to be trying to stop this, but this is just making it worse. That's it! Oh. So it is a time shift. Your shift is done. Now let's see how you did on the prize screen. Oh, okay. Level 2, Lamer Flamer. Level up. Level 3, the little engine that could. Cold. <laughs> level up. Level 4, Sweet Heat. Wow, great job. I know you're dying to stay and work forever, but a good worker needs rest. Come back tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about this whole thing. And now it's 6 p.m. Miriam! Sheesh, it's cold out here. Any progress on shutting down that factory yet? I can tell you rumors about stuff around town. Not like I have anything else to contribute. Go ahead, tell me. Apparently there's an astronomer outside of town. They have a big telescope. So who knows what kind of stuff they know, right? Maybe you should try finding them. I'll just keep wandering around here. Yeah, this is weird how everyone's literally just wandering around hey hey welcome to like the gift house we have like all the greatest toys for sale here I'm not including happy kid the most popular toy ever produced right here in the factory Ooh. 
take Happy Kid home with you today. And put a smile on your family's face, or whatever. Katya? Uh, why are you like this? Happy Kid is just, like, pure joy in the form of a kid. Wow, buy it. Hmm. Oh, snap! What the heck? Okay, I guess it's like time for everyone to go home. This is so weird. Hey, I remember you from the gift shop. I hate it there, but it's a job, I guess. Clockwork pub? Oh, everyone's, everyone's in here. Oh, you're the happy guy. Holy crud. I hate this freaking head. My daily prison. That's what it is. It's so stuffy. All day, I'm sweating in this stupid thing. Don't smell it if you value your life. Miles. Like, everyone's sad in this town or something? Well, ain't you just a little sweetheart? Something to drink, hun? Like, juice? No. <laughs> you don't have juice here? Life's stressful here. Folks come here to relax after a long day. Well, except for that one guy. The whiner who's always crying. He ain't worked a day in his life, I think. Still comes here to relax, though. Can't imagine what's stressing that slacker out. Which one's the slacker? One of these? Hoi! My muscles are rippling from a long factory day. Is that good? good ape. Hard work to harden a man. Okay. I once was, I once was, oh, okay, it's what he's German. I once was chump of boxing area titled, it come and go, but family, it stay. I working for Baron now. <laughs> uh, A plus for accents. I'm working for Baron now, Ma making happy kid toy. Okay, Boris. And I can't talk to this one. He's sleeping or something? Okay. Dang, this town is huge. Mom's house. Why does mom live in such a sad area? But she looks happy at least. Come home to rest? That's a splendid idea. I can't stay. Um, it's nine o'clock. Nine in the morning? Try, let's say 10 hours. And he still has like a forced smile on his face. Oh, I'm so sad. Mama always knows what her baby needs. Stay warm, sweetie. He has like literally the fakest of smiles when he's around his mom. I like the little detail. So everyone's back to work. Nobody knows much about the, the astronomer. They just research stuff at their telescope all day. But they have to eat sometime, right? So what do I have to try to figure out? What time do they go to eat? And I gotta like... Oh, oh, what do you mean by eat? Do you mean this place? They said like midnight, so I have to come here at midnight. Is that what you're saying? Hmm. So I'm guessing this is the astronomer's house. But they won't let me in, surprise. So I think I'm gonna stick with the plan of going to. What is it called, that place? Going to the diner at midnight. I think that's what she said. Oh, hey, who are you? Duh! This town sucks. It's too cold and full of smog. And that stupid factory is always running. Nobody understands. Winston? Have you seen the cute little doggy that wanders around town? She's all alone, just like me. I try to pet her every night at 9.30. Right in front of the clock tower pub. But she won't let me. Even a lonely dog won't be my friend. 
What do I do to make her like me? Um, she let me pet her, so maybe it's just a personal problem. Let me stop. Okay, Beth. You go in a lot of mental circles working this job. Stay in the same two walls, say the same things to the same people. You want some grub? Um, no, that's good. Thanks, Beth. I could pass some time here. Okay, so it's five o'clock, and I think they said around midnight, so let's say six hours. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to Beth's. I'll stand guard here. Oh, snap! He came running. <laughs> Hey. Hello. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alara, the astronomer. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars. One by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory smog output, I can't see flapping wits bats in the skies anymore. Pardon my language. So, I can't continue my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town, plotting subturf. I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I figured out how one could shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. A cohort? That's what I'm saying. Um, an accomplice. There you go. Why an accomplice? Accomplice. I can explain if you're interested in doing it. Wash. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is these options? Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't. It could be very dangerous. No, let me not go down this path. Let me just say I'll do it. Whoa. Seems reverse psychology works after all. I'm impressed. Nobody's taken me up on this offer yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people of this town. Specifically, people who are awake during the day but unemployed. I need your help to find them since I live nocturnally. If we gather three such people, we could infiltrate the factory and use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck! Okay, Alar- Alara? Alara. Ilara. The factory must be taken down for the good of everyone. Just require three more recruits. I may be able to prove some intelligence on who to look for, if you like. Hmm. I think since he said unemployed, maybe the crying person, the person that's playing music on the building, and one other I haven't met yet. There's a man who is constantly crying around town during the day. He seems to have no direction in life. So we should probably be willing to help him. Find out what he wants. He wants to pet the dog. Okay, what else? The factory used to just be a small toy shop, but it grew under the hand of its vicious owner, the Baron. Its growth changed the landscape of this place radically. Got anything else to say? There's a man who is constantly cr Okay. Okay, I already knew that, but who's the other two? Okay, astronomer. You have anything to say, Beth? Hey. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Do I look crazy to you? Don't involve me in whatever this is. I got a diner to run. But, good luck. So is that how he's gonna go up to people? Just be like, hey, you wanna take down the factory? Like, literally in the middle of the night. Do you wanna overthrow the factory? Whoa, I definitely don't. Love it, but overthrowing an entire factory? That sounds like a lot. I'd rather not rock the boat. 
Like, I already know that it's the crying kid, and then I think it's that person that just sits on top of the building playing music. Oh! Oh! What are you doing here? Well, anything? I met an astronomer from here. She wants to shut down the factory too. Perfect. So, what do I blast? Huh? She's a scientist, right? So she knows where to hit the... So she knows where to hit to knock out the whole system. What do I blast? We aren't blasting anything. Oh. We're gonna get sad people from around town and mess it up from inside. Oh. Okay. I liked my plan better. But I guess we'll do yours instead. Well, let me know if you want to hear rumors from around town or something. Not like I have anything else to do. I mean, she can help us overthrow the factory, right? There's that sad guy on the roof by your house. You know, constantly playing music. He seems depressed. Maybe he'll help us. Anyone else? That sad roof guy seems like your type. All musical and mopey. But how the heck do you get up there? Good question. Anything else? Yeah, same thing. Okay. He literally switches up so fast and he makes a face when he's doing it too. <laughs> hey mom, do you want to help overthrow the factory? Joho! That sounds like fun, but your mom is too tired for that kind of action. Those days are behind me, Muffin. What do you mean behind you? You'll have to find some other friends to help you. Good luck! Such a supportive mom. That's so nice. Okay, so... I mean, it's already 5 o'clock in the morning. Come home to rest? That's a splendid idea. Let's just say two hours. Thanks, Mom. Mama's always knows what her baby needs. Stay warm, sweetie. So you just stand by my house in particular all day, just selling your stuff to me? Okay, there's a door up there, so... Hmm... Can't really just barge into his house. Oh, it just did one big loop. Okay. Oh! Hey, mask guy! Well, hey now, wanderer. It's been some time. What are you doing here? Hmm... I don't know. Hey... You don't have a job. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? Nah... That isn't my pace. But thanks for thinking of me. <laughs> I think it's invigorating to move around early in the day. What do you think, Wanderer? I know a special place in the forest past the telescope. And if you're there right when the sun rises at 7 o'clock, well, maybe I won't say. You should discover it yourself. What is all these random numbers they keep giving me? Mask guy. This guy is one big mystery. I wonder if he's going to come at the end of the game and be like, oh, I was the, uh, the last overseer or something crazy like that. Be like, plot twist. I think this, this is the way to the musician's house. I made it! Hey. You seem sad and aimless. Wanna, um, help overthrow the factory? Drawn in by my sorrowful music, were you? It's no show. I play from the heart. I play for a city, it's hard to replace with machinery. 
Cold is the snow that falls upon it, and for love unrequired. I cannot bear to face her, but I have written my feelings in this letter. Who is it for? Please deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day, from 11 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. I know because I can't take my eyes off her, and I don't even know her name. Oh, it's already 6.30. It's too late. Is, but like, when you say that, do you mean like the person in charge of the factory? Is that who he's talking about? 11.30, they should be here. Elmer? Is that who you're talking about? Are you talking about this one? Want to work a shift in the factory today? No. Hmm. Are you talking about Miriam? Does she wait out here all this time? What do you want? Hmm. Well, I have this letter for a girl standing here at this time. So, is it for me? I guess so? What is this? This is... Mm, gross! Oh, I've got an answer, alright. Take this back to him. And don't read it. Okay, Miriam. <laughs> so, it was her this whole time. You know what I should have done? I really should have um went out through that door because now I have to like go all the way around. Yeah, I should have went through the door because I feel like it's gonna open the bottom. Whatever. Just gonna do it again. Peter. I can't believe it was Miriam that he liked. Um, I have a letter for you from her. Yeah. Hmm. This is... Amazing! <laughs> what? She's agreed to meet me. Oh, wait. She also said, don't tell the weird bard. <laughs> what? That's definitely me. Alas, already I have broken a promise. But what is a love that doesn't have... That doesn't know second chances. Um, every moment without her is pain. I wait our meeting with continue. Oh, I, I didn't look at that. Though slightly less saddened than before, she agreed to meet me. That's cool. Also, want to help overthrow the factory, maybe? Yes. We have meetings in the dining every night. I will be there. Okay, Peter. Peter and Miriam, my love, she is so fierce. Yeah. And grumpy. Hmm, yep. And easily annoyed. True. Hmm. She's perfect. <laughs> okay. Dang it. See, I knew it. If only I went through the door, I just jumped right off without a second thought. And you said 9 30, gotta go to the pub. Oh, there he goes. I like this. Like, literally all the characters are... <laughs> Aww. He's crying again! What? Every night at 9.30, I try to pet the dog... What? But I just... Hmm, maybe I should have talked to him. 
I come here every night, but I don't know why nobody wants to talk to me ever. Everyone in this town hates me. You jerk. Well, who is this? Okay, so I'm gonna wait here until 9.30. The guy should be coming up any minute now. So what do you want me to do? Wants food? He wants food. Good doggy. Winston, he just wants food. How am I supposed to make friends? Everyone has a job and a life except for me. I want to pet the dog outside here. At okay. Cry, baby. Okay, so we gotta go to. The, I think we gotta go to the diner and get some food and bring it with us and give it to him. Nine thirty. Okay. I think this is supposed to be for the dog, so I'm just gonna wait here until nine thirty. And then Winston comes at nine thirty, and I can. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Cool. I have not been able to talk to you. Winston, here, give this to him. Hey, that plate. I think the dog likes it. Hand it over. You jerk. Please. Yeah. Aww. Look at his face. He's so smug now. Look at him. We. Oh, we're friends now. <laughs> oh, I forgot what this felt like. Cool. Also, do you want to help me shut down the factory? You mean the factory that ruined this whole town and took all the jobs? So that I had no choice but to make Happy Kid? Or be alone forever? Yeah, I think that's the one. Yes, I will help you. We meet at the diner every night. Nice. So I just gotta wait to 12 o'clock tonight. Who are you the Baron? Why are you walking like that? I can't talk to you? There's some characters I just can't talk to. Where are you going? Oh, nice. Okay. Oh! I feel like he's- Why would I ask that? I thought this question might come someday. Let me say this. Yes. Go ahead. The factory may be an evil place, but the Baron is not an evil man. At least, not when I knew him. It was always his dream to build the, his this empire. And I cannot stand against the dream of a friend. Vlad. I once was friends with the Baron. He left his life behind when the factory grew. He must be very old now. So what are you doing just standing here in the middle of the night? Ah, the air is so brisk. And pooted. Okay. I don't know, like, what are you doing here, Stan? I thought he was the Baron. I just, like, casually came out to him like, Hey, you want to overthrow yourself? Okay, guys, are we all here? I've never been part of a club before. <laughs> I'm trying to play it cool so that nobody hates me. I devised a name for our little group of comrades, the Astronomers. We still have the trapping of this machine to a factory-free future. The factory must be taken down for the good of everyone, just need three recruits. Who else is supposed to be here? To be honest, I'm not sure who else in the city may be swayed. Do you know anyone with no job? Do you mean that person that's just like passed out in the pub? Whoa, mask guy, what's up? Hey now, wanderer. You did good finding me here. I was waiting for you to usher you into the next level of dance. That's right. 
It's time to discover a new move. You already know this one, Wanderer. I'm just gonna help you find it. This is random. Oh, look at him swaying his hands. You got a new dance. It's a cute one. Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. <laughs> this weird awkward moment. It's like a do 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 do. Thanks, mask guy. This is all you brought me here for, just to teach me teach me to dance. Well, cool. Who is he? I really feel like he's like a secret boss, not secret boss, but like a secret type of like I don't know. Miriam, I need help. Need help finding people to shut down the factory? Just one more. Hmm. You're on your own with this one. I can't think of anyone. Everyone in this lousy town already- What about you? What? No. What? Miriam! Come on, Miriam! What? Why can't you help us? Why me? Because you're the only one left? Yeah. Real flattering. Glad to be your last resort. Miriam! You know, this used to be my adventure. Just me and Grandma Salfie. But ever since you showed up, somehow I never get to do anything anymore. Even though I'm the one with the magical powers. How do you think that feels? She probably thinks I'm useless. She trusted me so little, she asked you to help me. And then, you basically proved her right. How do you think that feels? I, well, I think I know how that feels. Like when I found out someone else was the hero. It made me feel so pointless. I don't belong on an adventure. Yeah, except you're obviously useful. You sing us through every problem. You're obviously you're obviously useful. You can fly and you always know what to do next. Somehow. Hearing that from you doesn't make me feel better at all. Oh, me neither. But that's why we got to do this. Together. We got to prove that we aren't useless. We can't do it if we don't try. Hmm. Okay. Fine. Oh, he's smiling again. This is the first time, like, real smile. I'll help. This time. I'll see you at the nighttime diner meeting. Okay. Nice. We got Miriam on our team. Like, I was thinking about her, but I was like, uh, she already said no. But... Plot twist, she actually does want to come. Okay, let's see. And to rest, um, it's 12, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 hours. He's smiling again, like a real smile. Stay warm, sweetie. Aren't you, you coming along? Your mom, your mom reminds me of Grandma Sophie. It's nice. I kind of miss her. Aren't you coming along though? Yep, there she is. So, this is the secret meeting, huh? How are these bozos gonna shut down the factory? Aha, you've done it! We have a suitable number of recruits for our subdivisions. I clicked that too fast, I didn't look at it. Yes, soon the factory will fall. And the city shall be free from the shackles, shackles of intricacy. Yeah, haha. -ha. He just wants to be included. So, all we need to do now is take up jobs in the factory. We have to destroy it from within, or at least disrupt its basic order. If we take up positions on the factory floor, we can work together to do that. I'm excited. It will be the dawn of a glorious new day. Comrades, let's join together and lead the city into the light of a factory-free world. 
Yeah, haha. <laughs> he just wants to be included. That may be going a bit far, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. Okay, cool, guys. We can just we'll end it. I'm gonna end it right here. We got our recruits to destroy the factory. Um, Vina, our little bard, is so happy again. Look at his face. I'm so happy to see him happy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. And if you want to see more from me, feel free to check out my channel and somebody tap that subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.